welcome to my channel I am Abracadabra and um, this is not a reaction today this is um, well I did this one video before this is one of those I want to know what y'all think on this particular clip um, this is a, a guy I studied you know a lot of his philosophy and uh, his name is Alan Watts Alan Watt for those who may not know but I'm sure some people who watch this video know who Alan Watt is um, so I just want y'all to check this clip out and uh, just tell me in the comments what y'all think man because um, this is stuff I've been knowing for some years now but I just want to see what y'all think all right man let's just jump right into it most people still today think that all entertainment uh, to do with movies drama is, is there for nothing more than their entertainment. It never ever was that case. Uh, the greatest social messages are promoted through movies and drama, high drama, through the fixation of emotive sequences, emotional sequences, not logical, factual sequences, but pushing points across in an emotion, emotional way which register and fix in the mind. So emotional content is very, very important rather than going through an actual discussion or an argument using logic and facts. There's no debates. And when you're being downloaded through fiction, your guard is down. The censor part of your brain is not in, uh, in action as you would in a debate or a lecture. You're actually in an alpha state being completely downloaded with new ideas. Very similar to a computer. The flicker rate on the television is very, very important. It was timed to be so many cycles per second, and, and it actually just meets with the brain patterns for an alpha state. Our, when our brain sees it through our eyes, we, st we start to adopt that flicker rate in our, in our mind, and we go into a deep alpha state. Watch children and watch their mouths. They, they drop open. Uh, they won't hear their parents talking. Uh, they're, they're hypnotized, in fact. Uh, why would they give that particular flicker rate when they could have chosen of a whole variety of flicker rates. It wasn't an essential thing to have. So it was done for a purpose. It was meant to be hypnotic. It was meant to be used as a tool of propaganda and indoctrination, uh, even through the guise of entertainment and so on, through drama, through little documentaries, um, fiction, non-fiction, all combines. Once again, back to Plato, the audience see what they see, uh, you understand that it's even worked out towards different age groups. There's something on for everybody, everybody's age group. Each age group has actually been updated as well, even the elderly ones, into new ways of thinking or seeing things. But the target mainly was for youngsters. All you have to do is keep giving them new updates every so often, and you can change an entire country or a nation or a block of nations who are all getting the same uploads, upgrades at the same time along certain paths, but it's all implanted subconsciously in their mind because those implants, those subconscious implants will become their opinions and they will never know how they arrived at them. They won't remember it's from this particular documentary, this particular movie or whatever. Most people want to belong to their peer group. They want to be the same as everyone else when it comes to opinions. In fact, they judge their own personal sanity by bouncing ideas off their, their neighbors and friends who will answer back and agree on these same topics in kind. It doesn't matter if the topics or, the, or what you're given are facts or, or utter nonsense. As long as everyone agrees at the same time, you'll say, well, I'm sane, and your friends will all agree because they've had the same information given to them. We don't only get the same information given to us. We're, we're led through sequences, even documentaries, to leave you with a predetermined fixed conclusion on any given topic. Most folk are once again unaware of this. They think, I've just been given all the facts on this topic and this is the obvious conclusion which is always given to you by the, the final uh, experts on the particular program. There's no thinking involved. Let's talk about the effects of the alpha state first of all. Recent articles I've even read on the air from various science uh, studies show you that, that even when you switch off television, 
you remain in that alpha state for maybe 45 minutes to an hour, sometimes longer, depending on how long you've been watching it. With high definition, it's, again, why, uh, why would a president of a country mandate that all TVs had to go high definition? Is it because he really cares so much about your happiness? And he wants better quality for you? Or is there another reason for it? Well, I'm sure the, eff the effects of the old flicker rates and, and what, what it did will also be incorporated in high definition, but with even more uh, added benefits for bringing you into a, a complete hypnotic state. If you know someone who's watching TV, um, it's quite simple to find out where they are mentally, uh, psychologically, uh, in, the, in the understanding of things. You can ask them a few simple questions. If they give you standard television answers, uh, forget it. Simple as that, forget it. If, if you see some spark of, of their own opinion coming in, there's maybe a chance you can do something with them. But uh, you cannot get off. You see, television... Um, it can be classified as a drug. Uh, any addiction is, is still an addiction. Television is an addiction. People watch four or five hours per day. If you notice too, they don't even discuss the topics once the news is read to them, to each other. They've both been downloaded with the opinions. You don't have to have to ask what their opinion is. It's going to be the same one as you've been downloaded with, left by the expert. We tie this, this in with the Brzezinski. Brzezinski said in two ages, now this guy was way up with the NSA. He was a he's a master geopolitician. Uh, he works he admits he works in in twenty fifty year periods to do with geopolitics in other countries. But he said himself the public will shortly be unable to think or reason for themselves. He says he was meaning by that the form that, that of, of, of uh, information that was given to them the type the the formulas that were in use then in the 1970s and eventually he said they will expect the media uh, to do all their thinking and reasoning for them well that's happened today Th that's why people today can't think outside of the programming from television it was contained little human dramas as the hook that you identify with to make you watch the whole story the child gets kidnapped Detective goes on a hunt. He goes through hell and walk fire uh, to get that child back. Um, you identify with the hero for, if you're a male. You identify with the heroine if you're female. And that's the hook to get you to watch them. The human story is just the, the bait to make you watch through it to get you to identify with it. Because once again, there's always a message left somewhere in the movie. It might even be a message that's against your own morality. It could be where the cop, for instance, um, uh, does uh, sleep with this beautiful woman while his wife was at home, and it's all part of the story, and even tell you why he did this, he was feeling down that day, blah, blah, blah. And so you've just again altered your viewpoints on how you yourself might behave in that situation. And that sometimes that, can, that kind of thing can be justified. That's how you're downloaded through entertainment. It's there to alter and direct and always upgrade into another step of the direction that the entire culture for someone else's purpose. It's one of the most dangerous tools uh, that can be used. Everybody who's alive today has been trained literally not to have to think. As Brzezinski said, shortly the public will be unable to reason or think for themselves. They'll expect the media to do their reasoning for them. So let's counter that, let's get back to thinking for ourselves, using the, the data, the material, get involved, start using our minds again. And you'll be surprised, it's like a muscle you haven't used for a long time, how quickly you start to use it, how, how sharp you become so quickly. Uh, you saw the clip. Um, it's heavy, it's heavy, and um, if you really understood or understand the reality then you already know how things work in the world and for those if this was your first time hearing anything like this man um you may not agree or disagree but just study the information check check stuff out for yourself man i just want to like i like like i said before I just want to know what y'all think I really want to know because you know it helps me 
understand things even more just from other people's perception of things. So, all right, man, that's the end of that. I uh, hope to hear in the comments, man. I want to hear some good stuff. So, yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell. And uh, till the next time, man, peace.